Sophia J, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time or you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and like the videos. Today, I'll be sharing a unique version of the fairy tale, The Three Little Pigs. In this story, we will explore perimeter, and after, I will explain to you how to find the perimeter of different shapes. Let's dive into it. The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, three little pigs went out in the world to make their fortune. The first little pig was a Girl Scout and loved camping. She pitched a tent in the woods. Soon, along came a wolf who lived in the neighborhood. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he begged. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, answered the first little pig. It's huffing and puffing, it'll blow your house in, warned the wolf as she ran around the tent. Suddenly, the tent was swept into the air. With the wolf at her heels, the first little pig ran to the second little pig's house. Sister, sister, let me in, cried the first little pig. The second little pig, who admired Abraham Lincoln, had built a log cabin out of sticks. She threw open the door for her sister Girl Scout, and the two of them peered at the wolf from the windows. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, whined the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, answered the pigs. It's huffing and puffing, it'll blow your house in, cried the wolf as she ran around the log cabin. Suddenly, the little cabin was blown into the air. With the wolf close behind, the two little pigs raced to their eldest Girl Scout sister's house. Sister, sister, let us in, they cried. The third little pig, who wanted to be an architect, had built a beautiful brick house. She let her sister Girl Scouts in and slammed the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, whined the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, answered the pigs. It's huffing and puffing, it'll blow your house in, warned the wolf as she ran around the brick house. The third sister scratched her head. What do you mean, it'll blow your house in, she asked the wolf. A hurricane's coming. It blew down my house, the tent, and the log cabin. It will hit here soon, said the wolf. Please let me in. I need a place to wait out the storm. The third little pig peeked out the window, seeing a hurricane coming their way. I'm sorry, wolf, but what pig in her right mind would let a meat-eating wolf inside her house? asked the eldest. I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian and a Girl Scout, cried the wolf. She showed the pigs her Girl Scout vest and her Veggies Only Club membership card. Come on in then, said the third pig. We'll wait out the storm in my basement. Thanks for the warning, wolf. And from that day on, the three little pigs and the vegetarian wolf were the bestest of friends. Did you enjoy this new version of the Three Little Pigs? I hope you did. So, did you notice that the wolf ran around each of the pigs' houses as she was warning them? That makes me wonder, what was the distance around each of the pigs' home? Let me look at the pigs' home's blueprints here. So, the blueprints say that the floor inside the first little pig's tent was three meters long and three meters wide. So each side was three meters. So to find the perimeter, I have to do three meters plus three meters plus three meters plus three meters. So, which is also equivalent to three times four. So three plus three plus three plus three is 12 meters, meaning that the perimeter is 12 meters. So, for the second little pig, the blueprints say that the floor inside the second little pig's log cabin was nine meters long and three meters wide. So to find the perimeter, we have to do three plus nine plus three 
plus 9. So 3 plus 9 plus 3 plus 9. To make it simpler, we can always do 9 plus 9 first, which is 18. And then 3 plus 3 second, which is 6. So then 18 plus 6. 6 plus 8 is 14. Put the 4 down and carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2, meaning that the perimeter is 24 meters. And finally, we have to find the perimeter of the third little pig's house, the oldest one. So the floor inside the third little pig's brick house was 9 meters long and 9 meters wide. So 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 is equal to 36 meters, meaning that the wolf ran around 36 meters to get around the perimeter of the brick house. Okay, mathematicians, what are we going to do if we are trying to measure the perimeter of something that doesn't have straight lines, like this oak leaf? To do this, the only supplies that you will need is yarn or string, a ruler or measuring tape, and a scissor. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn and you're going to wrap it around the leaf. What I mean is you're going to start at the very end of the yarn at the end of the leaf, and then you're just going to have the yarn go around the edges of the leaf like I'm doing now. Okay, then you're gonna take the yarn that you cut and you're gonna measure it with your ruler or measuring tape. So I'm gonna do that with the yarn I have here. And measuring it up. It looks like the perimeter of the leaf is 26 and a half inches. What did we learn today, mathematicians? We learned that perimeter is the distance around the edge of a shape. We also learned that to find the perimeter of a shape with straight lines, you're going to add the lengths of the sides together. And finally, we learned that you can find the perimeter of a shape without straight lines by using a string to outline the shape and then measuring the string. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, mathematicians!